So we all remember back in September, right before the pre-orders started for the Series X and Series S, Xbox set the entire internet on fire by announcing that they were acquiring the entirety of ZeniMax Media. And this was absolutely huge. It's a move that will bring some of the most talented studios the industry has to offer and pair them together with Xbox. It's been a long process, but we have finally seen the acquisition get approved, making it 110% official that ZeniMax and all of its studios are now a part of Xbox. And it's a wonderful sigh of relief that Xbox fans can now breathe knowing that the deal is done and now all we have to do is sit back and reap the benefits. But the question that has remained for months up until this point is are these games going to be exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem? And I've already made two videos giving my thoughts and speculation on this topic, but today we have something much more definitive to go on thanks to a live stream done by Xbox Today celebrating the acquisition of Bethesda. We've got some comments from Phil Spencer himself talking about exclusivity of these Bethesda games. Since we announced this deal, but one of the one of the biggest ones, Phil, is this question about exclusivity and how you think about that and how that's going to work with, with Bethesda. Yeah, I see it. I see it in the community. I, I listen to the podcasts and all the questions, <laughs> so I'm going to try to be as clear as I can. So obviously I can't sit here and say every Bethesda game is exclusive because we know that's not true. There's contractual obligations that we're going to see through, as we always do in every one of these instances. We have games that exist on other platforms, and we're going to go support those games um, on the platforms they're on. There's communities of players. We love those communities, and we'll continue to invest in them. And even in the future, there might be things that have either contractual things or legacy on different platforms that we'll go do. But if we're an Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. And that's our goal, that's why we're doing this, that's the root of this partnership that we're building. I gotta say guys, I really wasn't expecting this to be a topic of today's livestream, so it really caught me off guard. But it was a very pleasant surprise to say the least, because as you may or may not know, I've always had the stance that most of these new games will be exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem. You know, things like Xbox consoles, PCs, and now xCloud. And the reason I say most games is because there are some games that don't make sense to make them exclusive. Games like Fallout 76 or Elder Scrolls Online just don't make sense being locked off of other platforms. Because games like that thrive off the engagement of already established player bases across PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. So I fully expect those to be on PlayStation. And then you've got games like Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo. Both have limited time exclusive deals in place on PlayStation. But everything else I've always thought would be exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem. And thanks to Phil Spencer's comments today, it sounds like a lot of us were right. When asked about exclusivity in regards to Bethesda games, Phil said he wanted to be as clear as he possibly could. He said that he can't obviously come right out and say that all Bethesda games will be exclusive because there's deals that are currently in place to prevent him from saying that. Bethesda has a few contractual obligations to PlayStation already. Phil goes on to say that he wants Xbox customers to know that this deal was specifically about bringing games exclusively to the platforms where Xbox Game Pass exists. And obviously those platforms are Xbox consoles, PC, and mobile. So will there be games that go to other platforms like PlayStation? Yes, of course, there's contractual obligations that must be upheld, and there's also games where it makes total sense to ship on other platforms. But listening to Phil say specifically that the deal was done to bring exclusive games to the Xbox ecosystem, I mean, it, it really leaves no doubt. And it's shocking the mental gymnastics I've seen people do on Twitter to pick apart what Phil Spencer said. But there's really no other way to understand this. Bethesda and all of these other studios will be making exclusive games and exclusive content for the Xbox ecosystem. 
And this is excellent news. It's a move that makes the Xbox ecosystem even more desirable than it's ever been in my opinion. I mean, for me personally, Xbox has always been my go-to platform since I first got my hands on the OG Xbox back in 2003. So I was already sold on the new generation of Xbox well before this Bethesda acquisition was ever announced. But it's nice to be reassured that Xbox is committed to bolstering their first party experiences. But there's even more good news that comes in the form of a 20 game addition to Xbox Game Pass. A ton of incredible titles from these newly acquired studios are being pumped into Game Pass tomorrow. tomorrow. And I'm going to try my best to have this video out by late tonight to have all of what I'm saying be factually accurate as far as the timetable. But this means that Friday, which is tomorrow right now, Friday you can start playing all of these games. And now I've got to go through some of my recommendations from this list. I mean, for me personally, I'd start with the Dishonored games. These games are criminally underrated, and it's some of the best stealth action I've ever played in any game. Also, definitely check out Wolfenstein New Order and Old Blood if FPS story-based games are your sort of thing. Both of those games are some of the best shooters I've ever played on any console, period. And the same can be said for Rage 2, though the story is a bit lacking in Rage 2, but the gameplay is brutal as hell and it's a blast. And then of course, I can't recommend any of those Fallout games enough. I mean, New, New Vegas is just a legendary game. Fallout 4 is my most played game of the entire last generation. And even though Fallout 76 has been the butt of a lot of jokes since its launch, it's gotten way better. And it's actually pretty damn fun to hop into now. And then obviously, play Doom Eternal. If for some reason you haven't already, please play Doom Eternal. I know personally I'm gonna try to hop into some Morrowind and Oblivion because I missed those games back when they were originally released. And I'm also gonna give Evil Within a shot even though I'm absolutely terrified of horror games but I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I think. And now moving on to the last bit of good news for this video and that's Aaron Greenberg teasing that there will be FPS boost applied to a handful of the games you see on this list. And the teams are already working on adding FPS boost to a number of those titles too, which I know we're going to announce soon. Ooh. Not today, but soon. So, Ooh. so, but that's right. And that's exciting. I mean, obviously, I would probably expect that he's talking about Elder Scrolls and the Fallout games, but maybe also the Dishonored series. And it would be a dream if they did an FPS boost for a game like Rage 2 or the Wolfenstein series, and even Doom Eternal, although I'm pretty sure that Doom Eternal will get its own separate, optimized for Series X and Series S patch. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Phil Spencer's statements, and which of these games are you most excited to play this weekend in Game Pass? Leave a like if you liked the video, and please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content, because it really does help. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.